So Homunaledi is so odd that some people have actually suggested that what we're really seeing are two different species altogether. That there's a more ape-like species, maybe an Australopithecus of some sort, and a more human-like species, maybe in the category Homo, which is ours. So, um, is that really likely? Is that possible? Well, I think not, and here's why. 1,500 different bones pulled out of that cave so far. And they all tend to be very similar to each other. And what that means is, say we've got multiple versions of the right femur from different individuals. They're all very similar. Multiple versions of the uh, arm bones, multiple versions of the foot bones, multiple uh, versions of the hand bones and the skull bones, and they're all very similar to one another, implying that what we're seeing is just one species. Now, why would that be? Well, imagine if you took two different animals, the bones of two different animals, and tossed them into a bag and started pulling them out at random. Eventually, you would come to the point where you pulled out, say, the right thigh bone. And you would see, hey, I've got two different right thigh bones here, and they're really different. They're very different. And that's how you would know that you have two different species. But if you only pu ever pulled out right thigh bones that were very similar to one another, you would probably think eventually, well, there's probably only one species here. So we can illustrate this really easily with a standard deck of cards, right? So a standard deck of cards, you've got black cards and you've got red cards, right? 26 black cards and 26 red cards. And if I shovel them up and start dealing them out, we're gonna treat the, we'll treat the color of the card as the species. So black is one species, red is the other species. And then what card it is, the face or the, or the number on the card, that'll be the bow. And so as I sort of lay these out, And here we go, right away. I've got a red three, and I've got a black three. And so that tells me, okay, well, this represents, say, the thigh bone, the right thigh bone, or the left thigh bone, and I've got two that are very, very different. And so that tells me I'm dealing basically with a fair deck. I have a deck of cards that has both black and red together in the same deck. And likewise, for the skeleton, I've got two different animals there. I've got one that's red and one that's black. For Homo naledi, then, what we have is something very different. Let's shuffle these cards up again and start dealing. Okay, so now I've dealt out a bunch of these cards, and you can see I've got four kings, I've got four nines, uh, three twos, three aces, they're all red. I'm not playing with a fair deck. I only have, in fact, red cards in the entire deck. This deck is made up of two decks, it's a G. And the point here is that with Naledi, what we're finding is we're getting multiple copies of the same bone, like multiple versions of the same card, but they all are red. They're all very similar to one another. And that implies that we're really not dealing with two different colors in our deck, we're really only dealing with one. We're not even dealing with two species, we only have one, Homo Naledi.